Hello and welcome to another video by electricalpereview.com. In this episode, we're going to be covering engineering economics, arithmetic gradients. The problem says, determine the future worth if I equals 7% of the cash flow diagram below. This one's going to be a little trickier than the last one, and here's why. Notice on period one, we have a value of $100. If this was a true gradient only cash flow diagram, we would have nothing at period n equals zero. So how do we do this? How do we approach this problem? Well, we can actually break up this cash flow diagram into two equivalent cash flow diagrams that look something like this. So now we have two cash flow diagrams here. The first is a uniform series benefit where A equals $100. So A equals $100. Next, we have a gradient. This time you notice there's nothing on uh, period N equals one. So no, that's correct. We know our, on our value of n equals two, this has to equal our g. So this is a gradient with g equals $25. And uh, does this work? Let's look at period five. We would have 100 plus 100 would give us 200. Okay, next, we want to determine our future worth. So the first one's very simple. We know that our future worth of the original one here will be the sum of the future worth of these two. So the future worth of a uniform series is gonna be F equals A times F given A for an interest rate I at period N. And the second one You'll notice we don't have any equations for our future worth for G. So what can we do? Well, we've got two equations we can use. One equation gives us for gradients, we've got P, present worth, equals present worth given our gradient. We have another one that gives us our future worth, F, as a pres from a present worth value, F equals f over p. So if we use our value here as our present worth, we can find the future worth of our gradient. And that would look something like this. That would be f equals g times p given g times f given p. So now down here, our future worth of our gradient is going to equal F equals G times P given G at an interest of I over period of N times F given P at an interest rate of I over period of N. And just so we're clear, essentially what we're doing is we're using just a standard future worth from present worth and this value right here is really going to be our P. So that's the same thing as saying P times future worth given present worth. So we're taking this entire geometric series, we're converting it to a single value on n equals zero using this up here, which is present worth given a gradient. Then we're going to take that new found present worth value we're going to convert it to a future amount at n equals 5 using f given p. Okay, so let's begin. Our first one, we've got f equals a times 1 plus i to the n minus 1 all over i. And our second term, we've got g times p given g. This is a big one. This is going to be 1 plus i to the n minus i times n minus 1 over i squared times 1 plus i to the n. And then next we have that times 1 plus i to the n. So we plug in all of our values and we come up with f equals we know a is 100 right here so f equals 100 
times 1 plus i. So 1 plus 0 0.07 to 5 minus 1 over 0 0.07. And we have plus g, and we know that right here, this 125 is going to equal a plus g. We know a is 100, so we know g is 25. So we have 25 times 1 plus 0 0.07 to the 5 minus 0 0.07 times 5 minus 1 over i squared, 0 0.07 squared, times 1 plus i, 0 0.07 to the n, which is 5. And then last term is times 1 plus i, 0 0.07 to the n is 5. Wow, that's a handful. OK, let's punch this in our calculator, see what we get. We've got f equals $100 times 5.75 plus $25 times 7.65 times 1.40. Okay, now we've got F equals $575 plus $268. We add these together and we come up with our final answer of F equals $842. And of course, if we we're going to draw a new equivalent cash flow diagram just representing this feature worth, we would have something that looks like this. We've got nothing happening until a period of N equals to 5 would be a benefit of eight hundred and forty two dollars that's it for this example for more PE exam practice problems and to char online review course come see us at www.electricalpereview.com see you soon